do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play. Okay. Sing a song and pray. That's right. God really loves us. God really, really cares about you, me, our families. That's right. God's always right there. Woo! Let me fix my curls. You've tuned into Callie's world. That's right, boys and girls. Welcome to Callie's world. Hey, friends. I am usually your buddy, Callie. But today, I am Callie Caddington, the fastest cat on the NASCAR track. We watched a NASCAR race on television the other day, and it was awesome! Have you ever seen one? The cars go around and around and around a gigantic track, and they go super fast until someone wins! Victory! So today, it's my turn. I'm in the driver's seat of car number 77. I have my coach talking to me, and I am racing! It's lap number 15 of 20, and Callie Caddington is 10 cars back in the lead. If you actually race like hundreds of laps, well, that would take forever. Anyway, 10 cars back from the leader. Psh, coach to Callie, take the inside to pass this next car. Lock and load. Callie to coach. Sure thing, coach. Here I go. Woohoo! All right, one car down and nine to go. Hmm, I wonder. What would it feel like to win? Friends, do you know what it feels like to have victory? That's when you win something. Psh, coach to Callie. Callie, if you steer outside in this next turn, you can pass the next two cars at once. Callie to coach. Got it. And here I go. Yeah, I did it. Three cars, seven to go. Anyway, I sometimes win when I'm playing games with my family. That feels really good. But, hmm, I wonder. I wonder what other ways we can have victory. Maybe the kind of victory that we get from listening to God, like I'm listening to Coach, <laughs> and doing what God says. Hmm, I'm gonna keep wondering and keep racing while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Joshua, chapters five and six. God was going to lead the Israelites to take over Jericho. The people of Jericho had shut their gates and were guarding their city so that no one would enter in it. Joshua was near Jericho when he saw a man with a sword standing in front of him. The man was the commander of God's army. That's like an angel. He told Joshua to take off his sandals because he was standing on holy ground. Then he told Joshua the plan to defeat Jericho. The Israelite army marched around Jericho. Seven priests blew trumpets that made out of ram's horns. The Ark of the Covenant was being carried behind them. They believed that having the Ark was like having God with them. They marched around the city one time every day for six days straight. On the seventh day, they got up bright and early at sunrise. They marched around the city just had they done before. But this time, they didn't go around the city one time. They marched around it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. And on the seventh time, their priests blew a long blast on their trumpets. Then Joshua told them all to shout because God has given them the victory. When they shouted, the big walls of Jericho came crashing down. The Israelite army rushed in and destroyed the city except for Rahab, since Rahab helped the Israelite spies. They kept their promise and rescued everyone who was in Rahab's house. The Israelites were able to defeat Jericho and be victorious because they listened to God and did exactly what God said. The walls of Jericho falling down are a reminder for us that with God, there is victory. Whoa, what a story. Seeing the walls fall down from the city and being kept safe the whole time must have been a big victory for Speaking of that, while we were checking out today's Bible story, I passed six more cars. You know what that means. Just one more car to go, and Callie Caddington, the fastest cat on the tracks, 
we'll have victory! Hmm, I wonder. Friends, do you ever talk to God when you're trying to win something? Like a game? Or a race? Or anything? No matter what it is, you can always talk to God. I even prayed to God during this race. At first, it was because I wanted to win. But I'm going to leave it up to God. Win or lose, talking with God is like the best victory ever. God, thanks for, well, everything. Thank you for the victory you gave Joshua over Jericho. And thank you that that story reminds me of the victory you gave to us all the time, just by being with us. I'd sure like to win this imaginary race, but if I don't, it's okay, because I, we, still always win with you, God. Amen. Psst. Coach Takali, Coach Takali, one more car to go and one more lap to go. You're gonna have to fake inside and then steer outside to beat this last car. Got it? Cali to coach. Got it loud and clear. Fake inside and go outside. Yeehaw! And there is the checkered flag. That's what they leave at the end of the race. Friends, do you think they won? I guess I'll just leave it to your imagination. Pretend NASCAR racing was super fun. And hearing about Joshua's march around Jericho reminded me that... With God, there is victory. Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. See you next time.